for this video, I'm going to answer an extremely popular question that I'm getting a lot, and that is, what can you do with a music production degree? Now, although this seems like a very simple question, like, oh, just what can you do once you get a music production degree? The answer is a little bit more complicated, especially for me being a DJ music producer, but also me graduating with an accounting degree, very, very different, obviously, than music production. There's a lot more of weird things that kind of come into play with music production and the skill sets involved. Now, backing up, going back to the accounting degree, which I know it sounds kind of a weird place to start for this video, but I promise you that it's important, and then you'll see why it kind of ties in with music production. So I also graduated with an accounting degree. I worked at a big four public accounting firm. That firm and a decent amount of accounting firms, I think most of them actually, require you to have an accounting degree. So not only obviously do you have to know accounting, obviously, but you need the degree to demonstrate, hey, I graduated from accredited university with an accounting degree, so I can work there. Now, there are some degrees that are like that, not just accounting, but other you know, uh, types of jobs, other type of careers require you to have accredited college degree or university to be say, hey, here's a piece of paper that demonstrates I have a degree in blank. I have an undergraduate degree in blank, or I have a graduate degree in blank, whatever it is. Now, music production, the field of music production is very, very different because there are very, very few places that say, hey, you know, I was going to hire you to produce with me, but you know what? You don't have a music production degree. So, I, you know what? Unfortunately, I can't, I can't hire you. I'm sorry. It's almost so much of having like a marketing degree. Just because you went to school for marketing and you learned, you know, everything from like the four P's of marketing to, you know, sales tactics and everything. Does that mean you can pick up the phone and be a great salesman? Not necessarily. Necessarily, right? It's you. You learn those skills on, you know, uh, through classes. You learn it on, you know, being in the classroom and in that situation. But does that mean you necessarily can do it? Well, yes and no, right? Obviously, that degree is supposed to represent that you have that skill set, but not every time, if that makes sense. So when it comes to music production, a lot of people ask me, like, "Oh, Mark, you know, I." I'm going to get into DJing, I want to make electronic music, or I want to produce hip-hop, or I want to produce rock, or I just want to be a producer helping out any genre. I'm going to go to a school so I can get a degree, so I can go to places like, hey, I have this degree. But remember, that degree really only is supposed to represent your overall skill sets. So I know I've kind of ram I've rambled on, I've kind of bounced on. So you may be asking, okay, Mark, well, but what can you do then? Like, say you go to school, you get a music production degree, what can you do? Well... The truth is, if you want to be honest, you can do everything with a music production degree than you can do without a music production degree. You don't need the degree to get into a studio, to start producing your own electronic music or hip hop tracks, for example. You don't need that degree to do anything outside of the fact of if you, if, if you didn't have that degree. You can just go Start learning music production and go from there. The only thing that music production schools, things like Icon Collective or SAE, or these other schools that teach you music production, the only thing that they're really useful for is not the degree. That's not the piece of paper that you can show. Because like I said, with accounting, I had to make sure that I graduated with that degree. Even if I knew everything about accounting off the top of my head, even if I was an accounting genius, if I didn't have that degree, I can't work at those firms. With music production, though, it's not really the same thing when you go to school, also you want to get the degree at the end of it, but you're more, you're more so going for the skill sets involved, and it's more about the journey rather than the journey and the destination itself, as opposed to accounting, if that makes sense. So overall, I've gotten a lot of questions, a lot of people hitting me up saying, hey, Mark, you know, I just don't know what to do about getting a music production degree. That's what I want to do. I want to, you know, get a degree with music, so therefore I can start producing for people. Don't worry about the degree. If anything, go to YouTube, go to Google, and learn production that way. I promise you, one, it's going to be way cheaper, and two, it allows you to basically get involved in this space, learn as much as you can, and not spend all that money. And don't get me wrong, going to places like Icon Collective or SAE are going to help speed up that process. I mean, you're going to be learning from some of the best of the best that allow you to speed up that learning curve. 
However, don't worry about, oh, this is what I can do with a music production degree. And once I get my degree, then I'm gonna go here. Because if you have the skill sets, if you have the knowledge that it goes into producing music, you don't need a degree. For me, obviously being a DJ and electronic music producer, like I mentioned in the beginning of this video, I've never gotten any degree in music. I've had a lot of experience in music, especially when I was younger and as I got older, but I never got a degree because I know that if I want to, for example, produce with a very top producer, I don't need a degree to show them. I've never heard of anyone saying, oh, you know what? I, I was going to produce with this guy or girl, but man, they didn't get an accredited degree. No one ever says that. For accounting though, that's important. For things like nursing or psychology, you do need an accredited degree. But in music, you don't. Know. So my best advice is take that money that you would spend to try to get that degree, focus on learning music production as best you can. Those schools do help you. I'm not trying to bash them, they do help you. But don't worry about getting this amazing piece of paper that you can show other people at the end of it. Worry about learning as much as you can and making your tracks as best as possible.